Yeah, we, we're fortunate to stay in our regular routine with a day off on Monday, our recovery day, and then, um, you know, we're going to our regular scout routine um, with just an extra day of preparation because our time is shortened uh, for a 45-minute window the day before the game. So um, Tuesday, Wednesday, um, here today and tomorrow will be really valuable for our preparation. Obviously, we're not sure of the opponent, but uh, certainly the areas that we really need to continue to to work on our, our execution, our communication, our toughness. You know, the execution, especially with an emphasis on the rebounding. So um, we'll continue to work on Alabama becoming better this week and brand new season and uh, the focus that we can take into Thursday's practice for a shorter window. Coach, your final two games of the season ended with a win over Florida and Texas A&M. Can you just talk about your team's performance? Yeah, I feel like, you know, the grit, um, just the gutsy performance down the stretch, especially the last week. I thought our kids did a really good job of realizing it's a two-game season at that point and how we finished the opportunity that this gave us for, you know, double by. I'm so proud of their effort and how they prepared and went out and executed. I don't think we played very well against Florida. So their response in the film room and the preparation that went into Texas A&M uh, it was really special to see their response, so really a credit to our kids and how we finished. Coach, I know that uh, everybody knows the advantages of the double bye, but at the same time, getting your team ready to come out of the gates on Friday because there's really, you're going to be playing a team that's already played maybe two games. What are the things that you really need to focus on today? You know, I've had experience in that in my career, um, you know, as a head coach, and I think that it definitely works to your advantage. I think especially, you know, the fact that you can have an extra day of preparation next day of recovery. Um, either way it goes, either way, whatever situation you're in, I think you try and make the best of it. So, you know, we, um, we feel like we're excited because this is where you want to be, right? You always want to have a double bye. You never say there's a disadvantage to that. Three of your players, they are awarded with SEC postseason awards. Uh, specifically, Essence Cody, she was named SEC freshman for the fourth time this season. What do you have to say about her development? Season. Yeah, you know, I, so, so proud. Um, I'll just mention all three right now. You know, for Sarah Ashley Barker to be a first-team All-SEC is so deserving. Her growth, her maturity, um, the growth that she's shown from last season to this season, from a leader to her performance, and performance in big games and in the SEC season has been unbelievable. And, you know, um, she's only scratched the surface, so we're excited about her future development. And then Aaliyah and I, I can't say enough about her growth in the same way as a leader, um, her ability to counter and become a three-level scorer, where she's taken her game, and I think she's only scratched the surface. So I'm really proud of those two and, and the anchor and the consistency that they've shown for our program on and off the floor. Um, you know, Essence has done an unbelievable job of each and every day bringing a great work ethic and continuing to get better. And, you know, I think there's been good and bad and ups and downs, but what she's done is understood that, hey, I've got to go through it to become the player that I want to become. In your freshman year, the way she's handled it, um, her work ethic, the way she's brought it every single day, you know, she's been in, in – she just has been tough about it all and had a lot of good leaders around her. So I think Essence, um, goodness, we're excited about her future too. So all three of those, but it comes down to having a great team around you. I know all three of them will give credit to their teammates because you don't earn those awards without the people around you. Coach, I know that this is a cliche, so I don't like cliches. I excuse cliches, but I've always heard coaches and players talk a lot about taking that extra step, going up that extra level when it came to the postseason. Is that something that you see? Is that tangible, or is it just the excitement where it's like we've been going through this season to position ourselves to this point where we can hopefully going to run in the postseason? Definitely. You know, I don't think we're satisfied. I don't think that we say, hey, you know, um, we've had a great season and we're just happy to be here. I think um, this group has done a really good job of having a competitive edge about them all season long. And whatever the situation and opportunity presented, um, I feel like they've, you know, they've embraced it. So we're excited for this. And um, but we're also very determined that, you know, just being there, we're not just happy with just being there. So. I know that's our take as a staff. We hopefully our team will feed from that. We'll do a couple more, Courtney. Um, the for your guys' first game, you had Hunter Lee playing Georgia, Kentucky, or Tennessee. Is there a certain team that you guys like to see again? Oh gosh, no. You know, um, we are just thankful. Um, I think the interesting fact with that is we've only played each of them once, and we played Georgia really early, and then we played Kentucky and then Tennessee more recently. So. 
I know that I feel like all three of those teams that I'm so impressed, they're playing their best basketball of the year at the right time. So whomever we get is playing really good basketball, so it's going to have to be a really good response from us as well. How do you mentally prepare your players for a moment like that, not fully knowing who you're going to play? Well, I think they're probably prepared for it more before they get to me because in summer basketball they play two to three games a day, and it's not so much about who they're playing but how they need to perform. <clears throat> and, you know, I feel like um, – you know, that's just something that a lot of these players these days play multiple games a day against different people. So hopefully the approach will be about – it's more about what Alabama needs to do and who we need to be and the execution and preparation that we need to uh, to handle. So we'll see how they respond. But certainly um, I think they're just excited for the opportunity of a brand-new season. Uh, a couple weeks ago on Hey Coach with Chris Stewart, Aliyah was talking – spoke a little bit about her private family, her background there in Illinois. Is that something that you see in her play almost? I'm sure that everybody has a distinctive way that they play because of their background, but are there characteristics that you kind of see in the play that she's become? I think the char characteristic that sticks out to me are her parents. Um, they're just, they're amazing. Um, you know, and then her twin sister and her sister, um, the closeness, um, just how special they are as a family, um, how much her mom and dad support her and how much they're always visible and always present. And um, I just have great respect for the entire family because it's it's really unique. You know, her grandmother got to see her play for collegiately for the first time on senior day, came down. And um, I just think that, you know, Aaliyah is just someone that, I, you know, very few days does she just not show up in practice. Like, I'm not sure there has been one. So she practices as hard as she plays. And I think her practice habits, her work habits, and to do what she's done in the classroom and to be a 3.9 and now to be admitted to our MBA program, um, she's just the epitome of a student athlete. And she has been so fun to coach and so fun to work with, and um, her leadership is exceptional. So I credit mom and dad and her, her village because it's really special.